So you guys will never guess where I went. You know I go here every single time that the sale comes on and it was on this weekend. So I headed out and went to the friends and family sale at Macy's. And this year it was pretty much as great as it ever has been. So let's take a look what I got at the Macy's friends and family sale. So I know what you guys are thinking. I went shopping again, right? One of my favorite sales ever is the friends and family sale at Macy's because at that sale, everything is 25% off, even sales price and even clearance price. And um, it includes most of the brands that aren't usually on sale. So it includes All Clad, it includes Le Creuset, it includes all those type of brands that you can never use a coupon for, but the friends and family sale applies to those items. So <clears throat> you guys know how much I love enameled cast iron. I love Le Creuset. I use it all the time. It is one of my favorite. But one of the things that I do have in my collection is some Martha Stewart enameled cast iron skillets. And I can tell you that I really, really like them. Now I am a cookware snob, of course. I love cookware. I'm a cookware freak and a kitchen gadget freak and all that kind of stuff. But my expensive tastes are always on the hunt for a bargain and everything I get is on sale. I rarely buy anything that's not on sale unless I truly want it. Now, one of the things about these skillets that I have from Martha Stewart is they are enameled cast iron like Le Creuset, but they're not French. They're not as high quality as a French um, enameled cast iron. Certainly they're not. But let me tell you, when I bought these things on sale, I paid $29 a piece for them and I must have bought like four or five of them. And I use them constantly and they have never chipped, they have never cracked, they have never rusted, they have never done anything. They look shiny and new as they always have. And I have a big secret to admit with these things. The box says hand wash only, but these skillets, I throw them in the dishwasher and they still look great. And I've had them for several years. And my idea was, that I would just beat them up. I only paid 30 bucks for them. And um, if I mess them up, whatever, right? But I keep using them, I keep dishwashing, I keep doing all this stuff, and they still look fantastic. So I know that voids my warranty, but oh well, right? So I wanted some Dutch ovens that, that are the same line as my skillets. And generally speaking, I'm not a big fan of um, her line at Macy's. I bought some things of it and it just wasn't that great a quality. Um, I bought a, a plate on a stand, like a cake stand sort of thing, and the base came off of it. It came unglued. Um, I've just had quite a few problems with her products, but I can tell you this. These are really great for budget cast iron cookware. You can look on Macy's.com and these, these are six quart um, Dutch ovens and these had about five, 600 reviews on them and they have a 96% five star rating. Um, you don't get any better than that. And really, I really enjoy cooking with those skillets so I wanted to try out the Dutch ovens. Now, the colors in the past have been like red and blue, sort of your standards, but these two colors came out and I was just like, I want them, right? This one here is called sea salt pink and this one here is called pistachio. 
and you will be very surprised how much I paid for these. So if you can see the price tag right here, the original price on these is $179 a piece. I know that that is kind of an inflated price because I watch the price on these all the time and they usually run at about the $99 price range. So this weekend, um, these were on sale for $59.99. Um, we, I checked it out online and then we went to the store. And once we went to the store, they were marked $79.99. But I showed her my phone with the price online and she gave me the $59.99 .99 price. So what was great about that price with the $59.99 tag is I got an additional 25% off. So I got these babies for $44 a piece. And I had to get some of them. So let's open these boxes up and take a look at them. So first let's open the pistachio. And here it is. I absolutely love the color. Um, it has oversized handles. It goes from oven to table. Um, it has an embossed capacity for easy reference. Okay, so you know what size it is. These are the, some of the colors it comes in. Red, green, this teal color, gray, um, this sort of maroon color, I guess that is, a darker blue and a white. Comes in a lot of other colors though. I've seen these in yellow too. So let's see what we got. Ah! <laughs> okay, so first out is the pot. Oh, look at the color, I love it. I absolutely love it. I might save these just for when I'm having it in storage. I don't want to cut the lid here. <laughs> so let's see what we have. So in here, there's a recipe for classic minestrone soup and your tips and maintenance. And here's our lid. Wow. I don't know how the color's showing up on there. Look at this. Look at this beautiful minty color. Oh my gosh, I love it. Pistachio. It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Only if you had a mixer in that color? Only if I had a mixer in this color. Wait a minute, I do. <laughs> so that's our pistachio, and next we have pink. This is called pink sea salt. Yeah. I know the Cruze has a, a pink out. I don't see it that often though, so this is kind of a treat for me. A big treat for me. And in here we have the same recipe but just with this color. Look at that. Oh, I love the pink. Eric said it looks like Easter in here with these things. <laughs> you can melt your peeps in here. <laughs> okay, we got that off of there. Got these off. And look at this. I love it. I absolutely love it. With the pink. Lid. Look at that. It's adorable. Wow. I'm in. I love the color. So we're going to have a little bit of fun with these. We're going to braise some chicken in here. We're going to do some, Eric's going to do some short ribs. 
Um, I can't wait to use them. I absolutely love the color and um, I think they're a lot of fun. We're going to do some tests on these. We're going to compare it against some other um, affordably priced enameled cast iron Dutch ovens and then we're going to do a showdown. We're going to take the winner of our budget enameled cast iron skillets and we're going to do some tests against the Le Creuset in a Staub. So I can't wait. I'm looking forward to it. Um, and I hope you are too. If you like this video, please subscribe below and leave me a comment and a like and visit my website at amylearnstocook.com. I'm also on Pinterest and Twitter at amylearnstocook. Thank you.